What's up, Leo? It's me, the Sunlight Oracle here with your relationship reading for June 2021. Thanks for being here. And the way that this works on my channel is you think of a person and you go with the first person who comes to mind, okay? Don't fight it, don't try to change it, just go with that person, trust your subconscious mind. And we're gonna look at the dynamic, the timeline, and then I'm gonna try to offer you some practical solution or suggestion from the tarot. This is you, my friend. We're gonna pull a card for the other person. And while you're here, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. I have a super small channel and every subscription is a big deal. And uh, if you like my style of reading, that is the best way to support me. So thank you. And Leo, who are you this month? Awesome, I haven't seen an ace all day. You get the ace of rods. There's that fiery Leo that I know. And then we're gonna also pull for the other person, the world. What a duo we have here. I feel like a dynamic duo. <laughs> That's the first thing that comes to mind. But let's see what your perceptions of one another are before I get really into this. How do you perceive them? Knight of Cups. How do they perceive you? Nine of Swords. Okay, my friends, I feel like you, Leo, are in like a super brainstorm phase. Um, it's a really romantic and fun and short time, so I want you to know that you have every right to enjoy this time, and that I feel like you're making a lot of time for yourself, which is not something that I can see a lot of in these readings this month, so it makes me happy to see that you are doing that. You are sitting in the glow of creation, and I just want you to know that like, that is a tough stage to get to. It's a, it's, it sounds easy, you know, especially as when we're children, it's a very easy stage to attain, but as adults, not so much. So I don't want you to, I want you to protect that. Um, there's a call to really hold, with this Ace of Rods, to really hold on to that energy as yours. And I know that you will because of your like headstrong sort of nature and the archetype and uh, I just really want to acknowledge that before we get super far in here because the person that you're dealing with is actually on the other side of the coin um, the person you're thinking about some things are coming to an end as opposed to a beginning for you where the future looks bright and anything is possible and you know this the sky is the limit is sort of where your head is at you this this person is actually in a totally different mindset and I feel like it th what they've they're they're in a phase that's ending but it's been a very favorable phase it's not like you know they got fired or, or maybe they did get fired but they wanted to get fired you know um it's it's something that's like a very peaceful ending but the peaceful ending brings with it like a lot of anxiety for people a lot of depression can stem from this time as well and I want you to protect yourself Leo from the Nine of Swords energy that may be projected upon you as a result of this person's ending, the ending of their phase or whatever they're, you know, whatever they're going through. It's like, congratulations, like they're, they're very like well achieved. Like I get that they're um, ambitious and like high achieving, you know, maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn here, but um, I just feel like you're both in pretty intense phases and these phases are naturally gonna con to create some conflict between you, okay? I also feel like this relationship isn't like a lifelong relationship. This person might be kind of new in your life or at least like they feel that way. Maybe they've been around for a while but they're presenting themselves with the end of this cycle into like a new person. And um, you know, that's even more reason to protect your fire, to keep going, to keep dreaming because it's just, this isn't foundational. This is kind of circumstantial. But it feels like there's also a lot of love, trust, and hope between the two of you that this will work out. And that's why we're gonna go ahead and move on to the past, present, and future up here just to tell me more about what's going on with this dynamic. Again, just wanna reiterate to protect your ideas, protect yourself, protect your passion, and to make sure that your bright new outlook and spirit shine bright despite this person who maybe is going through their own thing, an ending. You're the beginning and they're an ending. Where do you begin and where do they end? These are things to think about. 
Yep. It's interesting. I also feel like this person, even though something's like ending and erupting in their life in a big way, they are still able to give you a certain amount of attention that you want in a way that you want it. Like they're not completely um, overbearing, for instance, but they're also not neglectful. It's, there's something very finessed about how they communicate with you and it does seem to kind of vibe with your energy because you are super independent and their, their way of loving you or showing you affection or whatever, friendship, is something that doesn't necessarily impede on this yet, right? So that's, I say yet because I do, do sense like projection and anxiety on their behalf. Mm -hmm. But what's going on in the past here? Okay, so oh, going back to it, like not being foundational like or like forever relationship, um, this person I feel like just kind of popped up uh, in your adult life or recently even, um, kind of out of nowhere even. Like maybe they're a friend of a friend, but you like never knew they existed, um, <laughs> that sort of thing. But I do feel like there was an immediate attraction on a physical level, on the um, chemical level. There's chemistry here for sure. And it also, I feel like the intensity of the life stages that you're both at, you've been anticipating it for a while. Like you've been anticipating this fire, your newness, your new beginning, and they've been anticipating getting out of this and ending it. And so when those two <laughs> energies find one another, a beginning and an end, I mean, can you think of puzzle pieces that go together more accurately, you know? And for that, just, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it's definitely worth noting that like this is the foundation of the relationship. It is predicated on where you're at in your life as opposed to who you are as people. We can get into who you are as people as well, but I just, I feel like circumstance is like a very heavily underlined um, term or word, Leo, in this reading. Okay, so I'll leave you with that information. You can do with it what you want. And in the present, we get the Four of Swords. This is important. I see you as the Four of Swords and it's super important. It's one of my favorite, like almost, it's like a salve. It's like a very healing card, even though it looks like pretty aggressive. And for you, there is a call, because there's so much fire, because there is an underscore of anxiety beneath the fire here, there's a big call for you to, to tap into all of those practices, all of those routines and all of those rituals that you've already established in the past year or so, Leo, and really fall into them as your security and safety net at this time. It is, they're telling me it's like self-care stuff. Um, that means rest. That means, you know, mindless entertainment here and again, <laughs> and also mindful entertainment. But you, you know what I mean? Like you have already established this and that's why this person has found you. That's why they've come to you because it's always when we're in good working order that we attract people who maybe are, maybe aren't. I don't know. It's up to you to decide what that is. But you, my friend, are being uh, not even challenged, but just like asked, I guess, by your guides to really revisit yourself June 2021 in regards to your relationship. Um, I already know that you're independent and fiery and self-protective, but those are those are, words are different from like rest, <laughs> from like going within, from sleep, from being alone. Like these are these are different meanings. You get what I mean? <laughs> and again, I'm not telling you anything that you haven't already established. Uh, so just, you know, fully just remember that those practices are there to support you, especially as you navigate the beginning, the beginning of your new thing, the beginning of this relationship, etc. But after you rest, where are we going? Queen of Cups, I love her. <laughs> and I see her as you, Leo, like indubitably. There are, uh, the lesson for you, and I think it does stem from um, Four of Swords, rest energy and going within energy is like, you need a lesson for June, 2021, is to learn what parts of you are worth sharing with someone else and what parts of you are very much you and you only, and you protect those parts as means of holding on to yourself, of not losing yourself. And eventually, you know, in a relationship, I think that those lines start to blur, like in a healthy, good relationship, <laughs> you, you can share more of yourself, but to, lay all your cards out on the table um, now is very much 
I, I would just say discouraged. Again, there's a fine line between having like an electric fence boundary and a sacred light boundary. And this is more of like sacred light boundary, which is like, maybe don't roll out all of your past, the stuff that came before the Ace of Rods um at this moment in time because you're still very much like processing it on a subconscious level and it's still kind of integrating into your soul and into your collective memory and into our collective memory as the collective and so all i say all of this to just you know you're, you get kind of water you get in your feelings sometimes you big softy and that is um this is a request to sort of strike a balance between being a softy and also being um, like a good, someone with good judgment entering a relationship with someone that they don't necessarily wholly know. And again, I wanna go back to what I was saying about like this person feels new and maybe you're like, no, they've been in my life all along, but there is some kind of new energy here. There is some kind of thing that they have about themselves that you don't know about, okay? no matter what and that's where it's like we need to treat this no matter how long they've been in your life as a new relationship and we need to protect parts of ourselves and we need to be vulnerable about parts of ourselves as well okay and again if you get in good healthy working order both of you together then is where you know we can revert back to this ten of cups on an emotional level and things can really start to evolve morph and take off Whew, i feel like that was some practical advice right there but i do have one more card for you which is the five of cups and i see this as like when you go this is very similar to i think gemini's reading actually but when you go back when you're here when you're in four of swords when you're in your own feelings when you're in your own home when you are safe protected and alone there is, it can be scary, right? Not because you're alone, but because of what the mind will do when you just kind of let it run wild, when we start um, spiraling a bit. And a lot of people like to visit the past or revisit the past and see where things went wrong. <laughs> and I do think that you sometimes have to revisit the past in order to feel that pain, to heal that pain and to move forward. And I feel like there might be some things here leo that you know and this is very human this isn't just a leo thing this is like a human thing which is like we things happen to us people leave us people come and go but when people leave there's a way that a lot of people can skip over that healing process so oftentimes by going to the next best thing by hooking up with someone else or finding someone else and or going and doing something else or change moving you know like big things and you you really skip over that healing process and it feels good in the moment to just keep going but eventually you reach a point where you have to kind of reflect and heal that and i feel like there is a call for you to do that this is independent of your relationship but it will ultimately benefit this relationship for you and for them and trust that they have some work to do as well but we're not talking about them right now we're talking about you and your work is um your work is like already has such a strong foundation. You're just being called home. You know, Leo, like I'm not telling you anything you don't know about all this. You're super self-aware. You're really, you're really like psychically in tune. I feel like the only thing, the blind spot again is just protecting that flame, protecting that idea and not letting anyone project themselves and their anxiety onto you. Keep going. You do have the right idea. Keep feeling, suss this out. This is a relationship that's gonna require you to kind of uh, roll up your sleeves and you know, what's going on here? Figure it out and let me know in the comments if this makes sense. And I really liked this reading. Thanks for being here. And if you liked it, please subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week with your July general readings, okay? Have a great day, Leo.